I figured I might try to start covering a couple news topics when I do the news. So yeah, the first thing started yesterday as the media were making rounds of how the RX 500 was pushed back for a launch on April 18th instead of the 11th we initially thought. Well, great. And what about this refresh stuff we keep hearing about? Next up comes the new Fantex Glacier for the 1080Ti. It is sexy. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. If you haven't heard, AMD is reportedly set to launch a refresh of their Polaris 10 and 11 cards as the 500 series GPUs. One reported it's quote, slightly more than a rebrand. We're talking 74 megahertz here on the highest end chip, the 480. Yeah, not exactly a big bump. I honestly really hope this isn't true. I know it's been out there for a while and AMD has done this plenty of times. I mean, I get it from a business standpoint most of the time, but this time I personally think it's nothing but a huge misstep if proven to be true. I know, Vega will probably just encompass the top tier slots with high end components like HBM2 being rumored to release on the chip. But what are they thinking? With NVIDIA not set to release Volta until probably next year, there's a huge gap to grab a massive chunk of the mid-level market. You could call it Vega Mid. You know, something that actually makes sense in the naming skew. Don't get me wrong, it literally may not be possible for AMD to outperform and completely outprice NVIDIA in this area at the time being, especially with the 14 nanometer FinFET design. But why, oh why would you release these right before Vega? All it's going to do is thoroughly confuse consumers as to believing this to be Vega, while ultimately letting them down really hard. Especially when it's well known your 480 SKU is the highest one at the moment. Uh, okay, minus the Fury X, but that's just another story of confusion. What will happen when consumers see the 580 on digital shelves? Yay! Vegas here! Only to be disappointed the specs aren't high at all, leading them through the train of thought as follows. Really, AMD? This is all you got? Well, I guess I won't buy Vega then. Might as well go ahead and get the 1080. No, this isn't Vega, but I'm pretty sure the marketing team won't be happy with their newest GPUs being called not Vega. Of course, since that's all they've talked about, that's practically what it would need to be called to avoid said confusion. I don't know. I obviously could be jumping a little too fast at this since it's really not substantiated, but let's just hope it isn't more than rumors. Too bad it definitely sounds to be at least slightly more. Fingers crossed though, I mean hey, maybe it'll be way more powerful or something, I don't know, but it definitely doesn't seem to be that way. The second topic I really want to discuss is this incredibly sexy 1080 Ti Founders Edition water block from Fantex, and no, they're not a sponsor of any kind, but man is this thing gorgeous. <laughs> it's called the Glacier G 1080 Ti. It comes in the same black as the 1080's Glacier Water Blocks, but the TI version also comes in this gorgeous, almost brushed nickel look. Like the 1080 versions, it comes with RGB LEDs. What will the world do without them? Okay, who am I kidding? My case doesn't have any RGBs and I'd love for it to light up a little. To each their own though, I definitely get the more elegant look. Back to Fantex though. <laughs> Look at this box. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll tell you the price. Yeah, you probably don't want to know. It's coming out in April for a whopping $150. Now, I do have to admit that the limited amount of these they're probably going to sell, coupled with the genuinely high level of design, really doesn't make it all that unbelievable, but it's definitely expensive. Especially considering the next time you upgrade you'll probably have to toss it or well of course you can sell it. But hey, if water blocks get you excited this might just be for you. It's definitely awesome. Once again, they really aren't sponsors. I definitely want to make that clear. They're not even selling them yet so I don't have a link or anything. I mean you can go there but you can't buy it. So that concludes this video. What do you think about AMD possibly releasing nothing but a refresh of existing cards? Confusing or a smart move to bring AMD to the forefront before unleashing Vega? And how about Waterblocks? Also, do you like the whole two stories part? 
let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to subscribe, there should be a little button off to the right. Just click that with my logo in it, and I'll see you next time. I have a ton more videos coming, and as always, have a great day.